Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Oh, we've got a fun one for you today. We've got this animated background on our little section here. As you can see, it's shrinking and growing. I'm doing it over a 30 second period and the content on top of it is staying exactly how it should stay. And we can click on the call to action button, and do what we need to do. Got to write a little bit of CSS code for this today, but don't let that put you off. As usual, I'll put any code that I write down below the video. You're welcome to copy it, paste it, use it how you will. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down. I'm going to go to wireframe mode by hitting the little purple button. Little icon to the left hand side, wireframe view takes us to the back end mode. I'm going to delete the two rows that I've got in there. So I'm just left with an empty section at the top here. Let's go back to desktop view. I'm going to add a row to my section up here. A little green button to add a row. I'm going to use a single column. And I'm going to pop in an image. Here's a little image module. Great. Let's find the image that we want. And I've got one here that's going to work quite well. I've made it almost the shape that I want for my little section up here, which is tall and skinny. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save that. I'm going to go into the row and I want to make the row full width. Green tab for the row. I'm going to go in there to design, sizing. I'm going to pull the width all the way up to 100%. I'm going to copy it. Control C and paste it in the max width below, control V, or you can just type it in if you want. We've now got a full width row with our little image in there. Also got a bit of space at the top. I don't want any space at all. I'm gonna turn my custom gutter width on and drag it all the way down to the left. It'll take any space away from top and bottom when we put a new row in there. I don't wanna get rid of this bit of spacing here. So let's, let's close up sizing. I'm going to go into spacing and make sure there's no padding top or bottom by simply putting a zero in there and a zero in here. If you've still got a bit of space on top and bottom of yours, it's probably in your section. I've already taken mine away from my section. I'll just demo that for you. Go up into the blue tab for the section. And again, over to design, that's always where you'll find spacing. I've put a zero in top and bottom for my padding on that as well. So we should be buffered up against the top and the sections below. Great. Well, it doesn't look like my image is stretching far enough. So I'm going to go back into the image. And also when I roll over it, there's that little bit of writing there. That's actually the title of the image. To get rid of that, we'll go in there, go over to advance and attributes. There's the actual image title there. I'm going to simply delete that. And we've not got that there either. While we're here, I want to make this full width, this image. So I'm going to go into design, sizing, force full width. That's going to make it the full width. But it's actually made it a little deeper than I want it here. So to fix that, let's just keep what we've got. We'll save this. I'm going to go back into the row, green tab for the row. I'm going to make this row the size I want, which is 50 viewable height, half the screen height, whatever screen you're looking on. And if you're going to use this on tablet and mobile, you can adjust it for those here as well. So I'm going to go into sizing again under the design tab. I'm going to roll on down to height. I'm going to give it a height of 50 viewable height, 50 VH. And that's made it a little bit shorter. The reason you can't tell any differences is that image is spilling out over our row height, which ends about here. What we can do is go over to the advanced tab, down to visibility, and we can hide any overflow, horizontal and vertical. I'm going to flip both of those to hidden, and you'll see it shrink up. Great, well that's the height and the size that we want it. We'll do the animation in a moment, but let's put what we want on top of it in the way of a call to action or something like that. So I'm now going to add a new row. Just click on the existing row, hit the little green button there. 
And in my new row, again, I'm going to put a single column. Inside here, I'm going to use a call to action. You can use anything that you want, but I want to use mine and add a little button to it. Now let's say animated background, whatever you want to put in as your title. And we're down below here. I'm going to leave most of that text in there just like it is. But I do want to add a button. A button's not going to turn up till you put a link in for a button. So if we go down to link just below, button link URL, I'm going to put a hashtag in in place of a link. And as you can see, the button's turned up there. If you want to link the whole module, you can do it here. Now I'm going to do exactly the same with this as we did with our row above. So I'm going to make it the same height by going down to sizing. It's 50 viewable height, 50 VH. Make sure that's 50, it says 59 there. I want to add a bit of padding to bring this down a little more central. So I'm going to go up in spacing, just above sizing, close up sizing, sorry, just below sizing, we've got spacing. So let's add maybe 100 pixels on the top. Just put in 100, it'll put in the pics for you. Let's, let's go 150. That's about right, you can always adjust it later on. I want to take any gaps away in the row that we've got here. So we'll do the same as we did with the row. So I'm going to go in there. Before I do that, I'm going to take this background color away. You'll see that white writing disappear into the background. That's OK. So while we're still in the call to action, I'm going to go in background. I'm simply going to trash it. It's all there, but it's white on white. There's our little button. So I want to go into the row now and take any way away any space top and bottom. To do that again, into the little green tab, over to design sizing and spacing and make sure there's no padding top or bottom. Now what I can do to bring this whole thing right on top of our little row above is I can give it a negative margin of negative 50 viewable height and that will bring it straight up on top of this one. Let's do that. I'm just going to use a little arrows here to flip it down to minus one. I'm going to say negative 50 VH. And as you can see, that's jumped that on top of our image above, which is great. Now we want to animate that background image. So this is where we need to write some code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new module, a little dark button to add a new module. You can put it where you want, or you can put this code that I'm going to write in your additional CSS panel. I'm going to use a code module. We're writing CSS, so I've got to give it some style tags. And this is the only bit I can't put down below. So if you're copying into a code module, you'll have to write the style tags, which is left pointy bracket, the word style, and right pointy bracket. It'll put the closing one in for you. OK, to target this, we need to give it a class name. All class names have a dot or period in front. And I'm going to call mine AN for animated. BGRD for background. You make yours what you want, but it wants to be unique. Let's open and close some curly brackets there and tell me what tell it what we want it to do. Well, I want it to animate, so I'm going to say animation colon and the name we want to give the animation. I'm going to call mine scale image. Great, and I want it to run for 30 seconds. I want it to be infinite keep on going and going. Great. Well, now we've got to create this animation we've called scale image. So I'm going to just copy that. Drop down below our little curly bracket there. We're using keyframes to build this today. So I'm going to say at keyframes. Then the name I just copied up there of our animation. Now we open close some more curly brackets and tell it what we want it to do during this 30 second period. Well, at 0%, when the page loads, second one of our 15 seconds, we're going to use a bit of transform. And we're going to use scale, which makes it grow or shrink. At the end of the word scale there, 
need to put in some curly brackets with no gap at the end of the E there. I'm going to have it starting off at one, which is regular size. You can comma, sep comma separate and do width and height separately if you want to. It's going to work for me though. And I'm going to copy this and paste it a couple times. Control C, I'm going to drop down, paste it once, paste it twice. At 50%, I want it to be maybe 30% bigger, so I'll say 1.3. Then at 100%, I want it to go back to its regular size. Now to make this happen, all we need to do is apply this class name to that image. Now when you apply a class name, you don't need the dot. When you write the code, you need a dot in front of it. When you apply it, you don't need that. So it's just a class name without the dot. Let's put it in our image module. Over to advanced, down to CSS ID and classes. It's a class, so make sure you put it in there rather than the ID. Let's just flip back to desktop mode so you can see what's going on. Now, if I put that class name in there, you can see our little image is starting to animate in the background there, and our text is remaining the same. So let's save our changes. And we'll save draft. make sure this is all going to work on the front end and there you have it the image is animating scaling up and down of course change the sizing if you want it slower or quicker just edit that code a little bit size wise and that's a great little eye-catching feature to have on your website so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.